Ah, uh, you wish, you fucking pervert. Yo, what is going on guys, Lottery Socks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Today, I'm going to be showing you what it's like a day in the life of a growing content creator or YouTube creator. Now, this channel's small. We have a little bit over 7,000 subscribers. And most of the videos out there you'll see are living like a millionaire, but they never actually show you a day in the life of getting to be at that millionaire level, which is all this channel is about. This is the journey to financial freedom. So if you guys enjoy the video, join us on this journey to financial freedom by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, Hopefully you enjoy, let's get into it. Now there's a book called Make Your Bed. And no, I do not read books, but there's something very, very valuable to take out of this book. And I was taught this in high school. And the quote is to make your bed because this can change your life and the little things do matter. See, when you start your day actually completing a task, it makes you sort of get a crumbling domino effect going throughout the day. So if you kind of lay in bed for the first five hours, don't do nothing, leave your bed the mess, chances are you're probably not going to get as much done that day. So guys, in the morning, just complete this task and make your bed. All right, now is the time where I would sit back at my desk with my coffee and finally check my phone and clear all my notifications. I usually don't go on my phone for about at least the first hour from when I wake up. Everybody's different. Everybody has their own things. And personally, just for myself, I find that it just helps my mental state to not touch social media, not touch my phone, not touch electronics for about the first hour I wake up. And it kind of sets my priorities uh, and makes me ultimately look more forward to having my coffee. Of course, I had to go on my phone today to record all this, but essentially, I would go on my phone, check Discord, answer everybody back, which is free, by the way, that will be in the description down below. I clear all my notifications, check my stocks, and then I pop over on Twitter and I'll scroll through my phone on Twitter for about an hour, maybe a little less. And ultimately, I'll be on my phone for about an hour, hour and a half or so doing a little bit of research and kind of just a little bit of behind the scenes work, kind of seeing what's going on, checking what the vibe is for the day with the stock market. And then after that, I will pull out my laptop. Now, during the time period of me sitting down and going on my phone, it's either I I come to my desk and do that or i kind of go on a walk i'll take about a mile walk in the morning i rarely eat breakfast but if i do i'll definitely incorporate the walk but ultimately the walk is kind of an option and i do it maybe 50 to 60 percent of the time however it is a little bit gloomy outside and it just rains so i kind of feel like just chilling and guys just for context i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to actually get the alarm going off in this video or if i did it'll probably have the wrong time on it i probably just grabbed the clip to make it more interesting but just for context it is 9 7 a.m in the morning 9 8 i got up at about 7 45 today now i only really have a set time to wake up if i'm really trading that week then i will get up at 8 a.m and i'll get my coffee and i'll get straight into it and ready for the stock market if i am trading that week again sometimes when i'm not trading i won't even put an alarm on i'll wake up at 8 9 10 o'clock sometimes even 11 and no that's not healthy that's not the way to do it but sometimes you do have to let your body sleep and rejuvenate so after scrolling through twitter on my phone for about an hour hour and a half i finally incorporate what i found on twitter over to the youtube video that i will be making most of the time and essentially i will start working on that youtube video on my laptop now my videos tend to take about three to five hours that's including research recording editing and finally uploading to youtube for you guys following that up with sharing my video which could add an extra 10 to 15 minutes on top touching on that this video is literally going to take me all day to create and probably another day to edit so literally if you guys haven't yet please hit that like button next up i'm gonna record a little bit of a clip of me creating my youtube video that i upload on the daily and then finally after that we will be grubbing up on a meal and heading straight to the gym Yo, what is going on guys? Lottery Stocks here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, see what's to come for the market in the next coming week. Essentially, that's just my take on everything. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our bowl of cream of wheat right here. This is kind of the pre-workout for the gym. Uh, it's quick, it's easy. And essentially, I didn't really feel like cooking all that much today. And I'm not like crazy hungry. So this should be some good pre-workout. It's a fast digesting carb, yada, yada, yada. This isn't a fitness channel, but I'm going to try my best to give you guys a solid workout montage right after I finish eating this slop.
all right guys we just finished the cream of shit i mean cream of wheat and now it is time to get ready for the gym while letting this food digest let's go Finishing up the workout. Some bike. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude it for the workout. We're about to drive home, make a shake, and get sunny. I already started digging in, I couldn't even record. I had to eat right away, so the quickest thing was some Thanksgiving leftovers. We got some meat pie with gravy and some baked mac and cheese, and I'm gonna slaughter this. Slotted. All right, guys, I just made my protein shake. And usually after my meal, I chug the shit out of this and then I jump in the shower. But my cat has an air tag on his collar and I realized he didn't have his collar. So me and my girlfriend just went to look for it for about a half hour. And I'm a little bit late on my protein. So I'm going to chug this and then jump in the shower. Finally, Done. Time to shower. I know that you wish I was taking you with me on that, but instead you can stay with her. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Did I tell you by literally hitting the link pinned in the top of comments or in the description down below, you can get up to 15 free stocks and a chance to win $60,000? That is right. Moomoo is literally sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, now for the rest of the night, I usually do one of three things or even a mix of all three before I go to sleep. So as I'm recording this, I'm about to go with my girlfriend to her house so that we can set up the Christmas tree for her family. And that subtracts one of these two things, which is ultimately just hanging out and spending time with my girlfriend. Now, the next thing I might do, honestly, is just open back up the laptop and get back to stocks and making YouTube shorts for the rest of the night. You're fucking trash. Garbage, garbage, garbage. You're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch. That is right. Number three is usually just the alternative to being productive, and that is getting on Xbox with my friends. Xbox, I usually mean Call of Duty. We're just hopping on some games of Warzone. I do enjoy doing this. I also have a Twitch that I could stream gaming on. I do want to grow a little bit further. All right, now, no matter what I get done, I always end the night off the exact same, and that is with YouTube. The platform I'm actually dedicating myself to right now and dedicating to you guys is always where I end up before I go to sleep. I like to watch videos on there of my favorite content creators right before I fall asleep, and then, of course, obviously, brush my teeth, go to sleep, and then rinse and repeat and reset the day. Give or take, obviously, a few things are switched, having plans with friends or family and or things that pop up throughout the daily life. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. This video literally took two days to create. So all I ask you guys to do is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ultimately just share this video so we can get this channel to 10,000 subscribers. Again, no one really shows you what it's like in the daily life of someone actually grinding to get to reach that millionaire status. They all just show you the fancy cars, their Starbucks coffees, and not really the grind on how to get there. So that is it guys, much love to all you. I couldn't do it without your support again. Drop a comment down below because I'm going to respond to literally every single comment. I love you all. Lottery stocks out.